one of the greatest experiences is not just what Jesus did on the cross. It's the decision that somebody takes upon what Jesus did on the cross. He became the ultimate sacrifice that brought a difference between him and sin, between the life of sin and the newness of life in God. There is a certain life in God that is totally and completely new, that when you tap into that life, it's like you've not existed anywhere. That is a life where sin has no record of you. Christ is the root, he's the source of your life. When the word saturates your mind, you will speak forth of the word. All you need is to position yourself under the word. If you want to live by the Spirit, the ultimate thing that you need is to be filled and baptized with the Spirit of God. If you want to lead a Spirit-filled life, then you have to be baptized with the Spirit. I want to begin this way. God is looking for men and women, children, youths, people that are willing to give him an opportunity to do a lot through their lives. A lot through their lives. The realm of the Spirit is open. And every ministration that is required for, for, for men, for, for the body of Christ, for people on earth, has been availed. But then the place of the question is how many people are in position and are ready, equipped to partake, to receive and to take action of the things that God has now bestowed has released has released upon the earth the church is going through a certain advancement so quick and different from any other any other church history so quick so different the intensity of our relationship with God is waxing so strong and stronger than it has ever been. But then the question is, how many people are available, are willing to take on the responsibility, the responsibility? Because heaven Heaven will always do something through a man. Whatever God wants to do and establish on earth, he will use a man to do it. It is known that he cannot just do it anyway, but it is a certain protocol, it's a certain system, it's a format. When God wants to do something, that is why even when he wants to make known a certain thing or when he wants to do something he will reveal it to a prophet first so god is looking for certain men and women he's looking for people that are available that are ready people that are willing to carry on the message in such a time now carrying on the message of christ the message of salvation to the world in such a season means a lot concerning wisdom that means the church needs to position itself in the areas of wisdom it is so important it is so important because currently the way we minister the gospel cannot be the same way it was ministered many years back in this generation ministers need the understanding of of the Lord they need the spirit of wisdom because 
the generation has a lot of things that it has brought in in a way of challenging the message of Christ the message of Christ that is where wisdom has to come in and when we speak about wisdom now this is not the wisdom of this age like Paul says we are talking about the ancient wisdom the wisdom of the spirit mm. the wisdom of the spirit that wisdom that the devil did not know even to the crucifixion of Christ that is the wisdom we are talking about that is the wisdom and if the church in such a dispensation is to effectively preach the gospel in its fullness when i speak about the fullness of the gospel i'm i'm not just talking about the eloquence of men i'm not just talking about in the eloquence of men i'm not just talking about speech but i'm talking about the end of the gospel that god desires that all men be saved and come to the knowledge of him Praise the Lord. That is the end of the gospel because the gospel is not just mere words. It is not just mere words. It is the very fullness of the power of God. It is the power of God. And now God is looking for men that can reconcile the gospel which is preached both in word and in demonstration it is the essence as to why paul says that when i came unto you i did not come with excellence of speech but i came in the fullness of the spirit in the demonstration of the power of the spirit my god in the demonstration of the power list the things i preach shouldn't rest on human wisdom but on the power of god on the power of god because how can we have this message reach millions and millions and create results and transform lives if we carry on the wisdom of the spirit in such a time Praise be to God for our fathers the revivalists that preach the message. But now the season has changed. We cannot stick to the same method if we are going to be effective in this generation. The attempt, the things the the methodology we need in this generation needs a lot of divine wisdom because every other time the physical world and the spirit realm are so much advancing are so much advancing more so even on the side of darkness and there are th- thereby the church needs to walk in the fullness of wisdom in the fullness of the wisdom of the spirit in order to see how to reach out to a generation a certain way that is what the message is driving us to there must be a certain advancement a swiftness hey la ma cobra de celebate there must be a certain swiftness of the church of the church in this dispensation if the gospel of the kingdom is going to be preached to the corners of this world that the end may come and now this calls for a place of intimacy with the holy spirit that ministers may be availed with the wisdom of Christ it may work in them it may rule in their hearts and that is what Christ is calling us to that is what Christ is calling us to that if there be any advancements that are happening in this world the church is going to be 
the basis of these things that the gospel may be preached fully right now the church is not supposed to be the second option or just an option it must be priority but how is it going to be priority if men and women of god that are in the church do not avail themselves to the place where they seek the wisdom and the counsel of god to see how much they can push this message so fast to the ends of the world because this is a time where our wisdom must be put aside for the wisdom of the spirit to take over for the wisdom of the spirit to take over and i'm praying by the spirit of god that there will be a hunger in hearts of men to search for this depth of wisdom the bible says christ is the wisdom is the wisdom of the church christ is the wisdom and if we get deeply in contact with jesus christ because this is the church of christ if we get deep in contact with him and understand his leading and understand his plan for this end time church then we can know how to preach the gospel not just in our own wisdom not just in our eloquence not because the money is available but because the spirit of god has taken over and that is the place that God wants us into that is the place that God is looking for the church to be that is the church that God is looking for